morning guys so we've currently just woken up it has just went eight o'clock so a little bit of a lie-in about a half an hour to an hour lie-in for me and Khaleesi this morning me and Khaleesi slept in the living room I'll turn you guys around in a moment and show you where we slept and um, we've just got channel 5 on it's so strange because we normally don't watch like mainstream TV we normally watch like YouTube and stuff like that so it's been ages since I've actually sat down and watched Channel 5 with Khaleesi. She lovely. She normally loves watching like Miss Rachel and say BBC. But it's been ages since I've sat down and watched like Channel 5. Khaleesi had her vaccinations yesterday. So when she normally has her vaccinations, she's a little bit sore and she loves sleeping with us. Because being away in a caravan is perfect guys because she'll sleep in the bed with me. Um, but she was a little she was a little she had a little bit of a temperature last night but it seems to have went down this morning but she was so brave with her vaccine she cried when it first when the needle first went in and then after that she stopped so she was really really brave i hate taking them for the vaccine you know you're the one that's holding them down <laughs> to get this horrible needle um and they're supposed to trust you and you're supposed to protect them and you're doing like the opposite of that Jan and Sean got their vaccines with Caleb and Logan we decided that we didn't want to get the vaccines anymore and we done a lot of research into it and we changed our minds about the vaccines and then so Caleb and Logan didn't get like half of their vaccines but then Logan started getting this like lump right here on the side of like his neck next to his ear and he was getting that and we had to constantly take him to the hospital and one of the things that I said is said oh it might be because he hasn't had his MMR vaccination so anyways we decided okay then we'll take him to get that vaccination and then once he had that vaccination he's never got that lump since so since experiencing that we decided that yeah we're gonna get all the vaccinations for the children and keep them up to date i'm not gonna go into the reason why we didn't want to get the vaccinations back then for um it was just personal preference i suppose but after experiencing that with logan for you know what it is i think it's best if we do get them the vaccinations so this is where me and Khaleesi slept this morning in the living room because we have a pull out bed and then Caleb wanted to sleep next to Khaleesi as well so we've got Caleb to sleep on here even though he's got a bedroom in the other room he wanted to sleep with Khaleesi because he loves his little sister Oh, 
it's currently just gone 12 o'clock guys and I can't believe that I've just got ready and <laughs> literally just put my makeup and everything on. I have forgotten my straighteners so I kind of straightened my hair but it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm just currently sitting out on the decking and having a cup of tea. I wanted to share this company with you that have kindly sent me and Khaleesi a little gift. So my gift is this gorgeous bracelet which I absolutely love. I've been wearing this like nearly every single day. Dion absolutely loves this as well so I might just have to buy one for Dion because they are really really pretty. And then we kindly got sent a little one for Khaleesi as well. So this is the company's name. She is a lovely lady and there's lots of beautiful jewellery out there. Can you see me? There that's better. Stunning jewellery. She has earrings, necklaces as well and you can personalise them. So for Khaleesi we've got a personalised bracelet. I'm just getting it out so I can show you all. Look at that. Look at how pretty this is. So you can choose the colour that you want the love heart. You can choose the colour that you want the writing as well. I just went for like this nice baby pink and then gold writing. But this fits her perfectly and she absolutely loves wearing this. It actually goes quite nice with her outfit that she's wearing today so I'm going to put it on her. Also I have brought her her little bracelet that Dion bought her from Haven last year when we found out that I was pregnant and it actually says Angel on there. Can you see? Two seconds. It says Angel and then it's got like a little love heart and a little crystal as well because Dion absolutely loves her crystals. So big thank you for our jewellery. I absolutely love it and so does Khaleesi. Talking about jewellery, I actually am thinking about getting Khaleesi's ESPS. I didn't get Dion's ESPS until she was about five or six. Um, but I have a few friends that have babies and they've had their ESPS. I was thinking when I'm down here, I might find somewhere where we can get Khaleesi's ESPS. Um, let me know in the comments, is it too early? Or would you guys get it done or would you leave it until she's a little older? But she had her vaccines yesterday and she cried for like a second and then she was absolutely fine. I think along the same lines as if I get her ESPS she'll cry for a second and she'll be absolutely fine. I'm also finding that it is a lot warmer down here in Norfolk. Why can't it be up? Come on then, walk this way. Two seconds, I'll get Khaleesi. Picked up and now she's so happy. Khaleesi absolutely loves outdoors. Don't you? You live outdoors. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Where's your headband gone? Where's your ball gone? Gone. 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 Oh. Oh. And Dion is currently just reading a book. What one are you reading today, doll? I am um, reading One of Us Is Next, which is the second book to One of Us Is Lying. Any good so far? Yes. That's good. Because uh, the first one was uh, really good, wasn't it? Yes, we got me into reading. That's the first book that read. That got you into reading. Yeah. We watched the show, didn't we, on Netflix? And yes, it was really good. Really good is the second one out on Netflix? No, not yet. Who are you texting, Dion? I won't give any hints out, but who are you texting? Oh, no, that, this feels like, no, this feels like, don't know. Yeah. What does it feel As like? You know that blog? Oh, a couple of years ago when we said, what did we call it? She has a boyfriend or who dumped her, I can't remember. Uh, uh, was we did like two. Did we? We did a boyfriend one and then we did like a breakup one. That was probably like the first word I think it was. But you're texting your boyfriend, aren't you? Yes, it's right now. Will the um, B fam get to meet your boyfriend one time? <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh my god, did I sell that? So, what are you doing looking for birthday gifts? Or do you not want to say in case he watches this? Oh, you don't want to say, okay. Yeah. Just in case you watch this. Okay. And then, like, maybe so I do do the shop and I might vlog it. But then, like, upload it, like, after.
Oh, seagull. Bro, can you do that? Because this piece of bread this time instead of eating it. Ooh. No. Bro. Oh, yay. Good girl. And put it in there. Next one. My turn. Yay, blue. Your turn. Oh, yay, purple. Purple. So, we're going to play a little game. And I'm kind of calling it the flower game. I don't know if that's what it's called. But basically, oh, it's very sunny out here. Um, basically, you buy some flower and a matchstick. Then we're going to make like a little flower castle, like a bit like a sand castle. Then we're going to put the matchstick in the middle, and then each person has to take it in turns to like slice off a bit of the flower. And then if they knock the matchstick out, they have to pick up the matchstick using their mouth. Put that in there, okay? Oh, yes. Honestly, guys, it's turned into a flower fight now. <laughs> You've seen the state of it on the Logan. <laughs> right, sit down there, boys. Just leave it there, yeah. Just leave it aside. Right, my turn. Thanks, Tally. My turn. Take off as little or as much as you want. Why are you guys taking off so much? <laughs> <laughs> Can make it hard for you. Oh, did you push? <laughs> and. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> oh, Dylan, if it falls, you have to pick it up with your mouth. No, you can't. <laughs> How's it still standing? Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't have to look at Hola, Lita. <laughs> it's love instead. Oh you have to cheat. Bye, Dad. Yeah, it's love instead. I did mine already. Okay. Oh, it's a little bit. No, you got it. <laughs> what in all logic is this? <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? No, no, don't leave it there. What does it do? Take the match stick up with your mouth. I'm not making that. Can I have a key tongue? What do you think? Good game? Yeah. Let's see if we're good. Yeah. Did we get to change after this? Yeah, I definitely think you are. That is. <laughs> that. No, you can't do your feet. No, 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 because I have to tidy it up. No, no. You got it? You're still going to tidy it up then. Stop, Look. stop. Oh, he's just jumped off the bed. Oh my god. No. Oh, right, guys, I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> gonna have a little walk around the caravan park and find out where everything is where the arcades are where the en uh, evening entertainment is um where the beach is because it is a little beach is there a big beach or a little beach oh, it's, it's a like a full walk a full yeah, walk yeah it's a yeah. full walk it's a pretty big beach i don't know if it's a beach but i think it's definitely like a seafront yeah um but we're gonna find that out 
but yeah this place is absolutely huge this reminds me of when we were at somerset um last year during the autumn it's a lot warmer though isn't yeah, it? yeah it's like really warm guys we put all the winter coats and the children are like oh it's too hot for winter coats sean is wearing his only because his like summer slash autumn coat is too small because honestly guys he just grows like you don't know what he never fits in things for long uh, so he's outgrown that we only bought eight a couple of months ago as well so he's wearing his winter one but he didn't really want to logan's just wearing a t-shirt but yeah it's lovely walking around and all the leaves on the floor the colors the yellows and the reds and the oranges, oranges. Yeah. yeah it's beautiful it's really really nice and there's loads of squirrels running around as well that we're walking past i see one burying enough before but by the tree yeah we've got one that keeps popping up uh, next to our caravan and keeps going underneath underneath the van so cute so just as you enter the hopton holiday village you have got all of this which is a family entertainment stardust center so we've got some arcades and stuff we've got a fish and chip shop here we've got like some little quad bikes yeah yeah. Oh, is that a new technique you've learned? What? Is that a new technique you've learned? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to give it a go one way. So yeah, it's quite a big arcade. That's your fish and chip bar there. You've got a Chinese place there. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got another arcade called Bubbles. So we've got a laundrette just around the back from the entertainment and the swimming pool and everything. So we've got five dryers and five washing machines and iron boards and irons. Really nice one. And then we are walking to the beach front, which is just right ahead of us. Let's have a little look. Oh yeah guys, Great Yarmouth, just there. Look, Great Yarmouth. But we have got a beach. We just need to find access to the beach. But it looks like a really nice beach. Um, a few people doing a spot of fishing down there, as you guys can just see just behind me. Um, and there's a few steps down here to the beach, but it does look like maybe this beach is like um, prone to some corrosion because they've got a lot of defense systems put up with lots of rocks and they've got lots of um, fencing and stuff put up, which I'll show you guys when we're down there. Um, That's a good idea, having the high tide and the low tide time. The high tide and low tide. Well, my eye's looking a little bit better, that's for sure. Um, so, the d different times of the tides and stuff on here, which is interesting. It's a nice evening for a nice evening walk along the beachfront. Oh, wow. That is strange. Now, I've never seen one land before. They actually have a key lock on this gate. So, there is times where they might lock the gate and you cannot open it or access it. So, I do believe that by just seeing that lock and then all the defence systems across the front of this beach, that this beach might be prone to some really high tides um, and also some ferocious weather. Um, oh, yes, yeah, sir. What, sir? You want to have, if, if you think the earth is flat, if yeah. you look at a board, you can see how it goes down. So you think the earth is round or flat? No. If you think the, if you think the earth is flat, you know a boat's going straight forwards. Yeah. If you look at it and it keeps going straight forwards, at one point it'll start going like to that. Start to bend down. Yeah. Be careful what you're seeing. Make all the flat earthers coming after you in the comment section. <laughs> hey guys, there's so many, so many conspiracy theories these days. You don't know what to believe. Maybe it is flat. Maybe it is round. Who knows? I know it's round. You think it's round? I think it's round. I don't think I know. Are you, are you okay doing that by yourself? Keep your hand on your brakes, son. Okay. Good lad. I just don't want you to come tumbling down. Use your brake to slow yourself down. So we got access to the beach, and there's a nice little rock formation over here, which I think I'm gonna go and take. A little bit advantage of. I'm gonna walk over it a little bit, but rather than starting early, you wanna start halfway in. A lot of seaweed here as well. Reminds me a little bit of um, a place back up where we live, up in Newcastle called Sandy Bay. 
they've got all of these rocks like this um, so I think that's also got a defence system against the high tide and waves oh, haven't got me hiking shoes on today so gonna have to be a bit careful be a bit careful Logan it's a little slippy but yeah this is where we're at Are hiking shoes on sort of <laughs> um, yeah I think we'll go this way so me and Logan have made it across the huge rock formation um, only me and Logan have done it of course um, Logan's like that. Um, I don't know if any guys remember the old man of store video that we did up in Scotland. Um, Logan was the one who joined us right to the top. He came all the way right to the top. And I was saying, who wants to come out to the end of the pier? And the rock formate, rock formated pier. And Logan was, I'll come with your dad. And none of the rest wouldn't have come. So, I love was, I meant Yeah, I know you do. That's why I knew you'd come for. Um, but we're right here now. Um, here is the the beach, all of the seas here. And then that's just up there where it's all lit up is Great Yarmouth, which is. Another um, really good, long-lived memory of ours that we had done sometime last year. I think it was about a year and a half ago now we went there. Um, yeah, we'll just come down. It's getting dark. We're going to probably head back in the next five or ten minutes. But before we we'll come down and see what the beach is all about. It's pretty boring that way, I will say, because it's like, all like cut off. So when you walk along that way of the beach, all you've met with is like lots of wood. Like fences, basically. Um, but over here, you've got like a nice little cove bit here, so it's really nice over here. Um, with all of the caravans up there on the top. Um, so yeah, anyways, it's a Hopton holiday park for you guys, it's really nice, I do like it. Oh, <laughs> the waves are splashing really high, you're going back. <laughs> Logan's like, no, nah, I've had enough. <laughs> that was a pretty high wave, wasn't it? <laughs> I'll, I'll come with you, okay, just one moment, I'll just finish up here. Um, Stephanie is right up there on that little cove, so there's a cove over on that side and then there's obviously the big cove here on this side which is probably one of the better ones I would say for definite. A few people doing a spot of fishing. Takes me back to the days when I used to fish guys, I used to absolutely love taking my rod out and just, just chilling. I'd normally take a hot flask and a sandwich and stuff and just sit there when I was a kid. Well not, I wasn't like a kid kid but I was like a, you know, teen, company 20s kind of thing. I used to love just come down to the beach and just put my rod out, fish, chill, and just be alone with your thoughts kind of thing. And I, I get why people do go fishing for because it is quite a peaceful thing to do. And it's quite interesting at, at the same time because you don't know what you're going to catch. So, you know, I get why people do it. But yeah, there's a few people out fishing tonight, but we're going to get heading back because it is getting dark and we don't want to be like, walking back in the dark. So the video might be a little bit murky guys, but as we are just leaving, we've just seen over here the moon. Don't know if you guys can see a little red light over here somewhere. I'll give you guys a little zoom in, see if you guys can see it, but we've got a bit of a moon set on the water, which is really unique. You don't get to see it every day. It looks really beautiful as well. So I'll zoom you guys and see if you guys can see it. If you just can't, then, you know, take your word for it. But what a nice evening. The moon is actually like rising on the water over there. You can actually see it, yeah. Did I see a moon set before? A moon rise, yeah. So yeah, I'll just show you guys, just zoom you in. But very beautiful. It's not like you get that every day, is it Stephanie? No, no. That light actually helps since you put the light on. Why does it look like the sun for? That is absolutely stunning. That is beautiful that. Seeing the clouds coming over it, it's a, uh, an absolute Halloween picture, isn't it? But yeah, that is the moon rising on the sea, guys. Here in Norfolk at Hopton. Absolutely beautiful art. Maybe we should stay here for five more minutes, what do you think? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Jan, what are you making darling? So I was gonna go for a ghost, but now I'm gonna go for like a really creepy face. <laughs> it's looking good though. Logan, what are you going for, darling? His face is melting. Oh, I'm gonna do a witch. Yeah, you could do a witch. Yeah. Yeah. Like a witch. 
Very spooky. Which is which? And he's got a uni brow, that's what that is. Oh, right. <laughs> What's the pink stuff? Made it a bit anime style. And then. You <laughs> don't know what this is. You turned into. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I can breathe. Well, whatever it is, it's pretty scary. Let's have a look at yours, Sean. Breakfast. Got a ghost. I think that one is the best. Spooky scary ghost. And then we got a skeleton. So we're gonna sit down and watch Hocus Pocus 2, and then when I was looking, I've realised there's a few new Halloween movies being brought out as well. So we might watch a new Jeepers Creepers as well, so we'll see how much time we've got. But um, we're going to have a late night movie, aren't we? Some popcorn, some snacks. Are you on the camera? What are you going to do with it? I've been trying to vlog today. You've been trying to vlog? Mwah. You give it kisses? Feels really strange um, to be sitting watching TV because we don't watch TV in our home. We just, well, we watch a few things on the internet here and there, but that'll be about it. So. Oh. What? We don't have TVs. <laughs> we have TVs, we just don't sit and watch like 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 midday TV basically. We can't watch it if we want to, we just we just I mean if I wanted to catch up with the news I'll just go on go online. Just I find everything easier online now. Um but we do have Disney Plus and we have Netflix as well, so we do watch things like that. We have Amazon Prime as well. Um are you still paying that subscription, Amazon Prime? Yeah. Yeah. So Amazon. we've got all of that sort of stuff. But we're just waiting for everybody to come and um, join us for this movie. 